sounds like somebody who's just stepped on two different Legos with each foot. It's like, hoo ha, hoo hoo ha, hoo ha, hoo ha. Hello there, you limey, limey, limelights. I think I just insulted myself. My name is Comedian, and it only gets more weird from there, because today we're doing another Why Don't We reaction. It's a brand new album, still. I mean, albums have lots of songs on them, that's a given, and I'm kind of slow at making videos because I care, maybe, and that's that's a given. So yeah, we're gonna keep working through this album. Today, we have I'll Be Okay. I just did a reaction to Look At Me, which was... I mean, just go and watch the reaction because, you know, I've kind of, I've tried to move on from that. I've tried to pick up the pieces of my fragmented life after that one, so yeah. But in the, in the comments for that, video, which shall not be named, uh, you guys said I should do I'll Be Okay. So that's what I'm doing. Man, oh, what happened to Free Will and Agency? What's wrong with me? Ugh. So I want to give a quick thank you to some of you who asked for the uh, this reaction. Uh, so thanks to E. Crossdale. Thank you to Ava Lister. Thank you also to Hazel Espinosa Franco. And thank you to Sanjifa and everyone else who, who watched me. What? Oh, I can't, I can't. I gotta stop thinking about that video. Okay, so. Fresh Slate, um, you know, why don't we really step the heat up in the kitchen and bedroom with the last song? I have no idea what this song is going to be about. This album has very much been, you know, their sophomore breakout. Like, this is our sound now, and our sound is, you know, quite mature, quite adult, musically and pornographically. So, yeah, I guess I have no idea what this song is going to be like. Let's... Only one way to find out, right? Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Maybe. You can save your like until the end of the video, but you should definitely subscribe right now, because, you know, what time like the present? Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's do this. Oh, she talks so sweet like sugar, like candy, it makes me want to be the best man that I can. All right. This is catchy. It's catchy, catchy, catchy. It's as catchy as, uh, you can't joke about the cold right now. I love that bass it's got in the background. It's like a cheerful frog on the way to the pond in the morning. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Everyone knows what I mean. Let's stress more what? There's three words there. Three words. Three letters there. And I'm, I'm guessing it's not less stress more bun. Well, I mean, that would be more wholesome, but it doesn't grammatically make sense. And it's not very interesting about eating a bun. Less stress, more... You know what, as far as I'm concerned, this album has pretty much been like... This album is pretty much the Why Don't We... I Have Sex album, as in like, guys, just so you know, we have sex. We're Why Don't We and we have sex. Like, yes, congratulations, guys. But I get it, they're trying to break out of their, like, you know, teeny bopper mold. I respect it, but man, they are just going all out with these lyrics. Okay, these lyrics are interesting. I get to say when I think about the future, I'm a jump man, she's a promise abuser. So he's, he's a, he's a jump man. Either he's coming out as some kind of strange superhero. My name is Jump Man. Look in the sky, it's Jump Man. And now on the ground again, because he jumps and then comes down again. That's, that's how that works. What can you do, jump man? Uh, do you have a, a baby that's slightly out of height in a tree? I could jump up and get it. Not now I don't. Well, let me do what, let me know what you do. I'll be back, jump man. And he jumps away. What was I talking about? Oh man. So yeah, jump man, <laughs> as in, I'm guessing it means he's spontaneous and she likes, she likes abusing promises. Making, does that mean that she, uh, she doesn't follow up with her promises or that she makes you promise stuff because either way that's not good behavior that's bad bad behavior man these are giant red flags get the hell out okay no i really like these lyrics so far this is cool i made my own bed but she tucked me under so it's like i put myself here but she is the one who also tied me down to the bed i no that's too why don't we have corrupted my brain i promise Oh, they said the thing. They said the thing. Did he just say? Did he say? Shit! 
<laughs> Sorry. Did he? I think he just said that. <gasps> oh my god. I'm gonna get censored on YouTube. It's all their fault. That frog is currently strutting down to the pond. He's got a top hat, this frog. He's like... This is a bop. I mean, I really think... I think it says a lot that musically, they seem to have incredibly elevated themselves by taking control back of their own music and doing their own lyrics and sound, as far as I can tell. That's the whole vibe I'm getting. I haven't read that much into it. I feel like I did see a thing that said, why don't we... I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like I saw an article that said, why don't we basically were like kind of sick of doing their like other people's music or they really wanted to just do their own stuff. And that's what this album is. And it's so... I respect it because this album's great, honestly. <laughs> Like when I was a when I was a young slip of a lad, the, you know, the S Club Seven and, the, and that was all all the rage. And there's not an S Club Seven song that I would really enjoy now, unironically. You know, ironically I would enjoy it now, but unironically, there's not really an S Club Seven song I would enjoy now as a fully grown human. But this this is good, and this is it joins Lotus In for me. Like Lotus In is a legit song. <laughs> I like the vocals here. Sounds like somebody who's just stepped on two different Legos with each foot. It's like, like it's, it's got a nice melody to it. My goodness, if they slip an F word in one of these, I'm gonna explode. Yeah, this is, this is immaculate production. Immaculate. It's clean. That is a clean frog. It's cleanly hopping down the highway towards that pond. I really hope I'm right about the whole, you know, why don't we fighting back against the label and making their own album thing. That's the idea I get from it. And it's interesting because it makes you wonder, like, how many artists out there are forced to do music that they don't even necessarily like that much. I'm not saying, I don't think I've really necessarily heard like a bad Why Don't We song, but I just, I respect this newer music so much more, especially like as somebody who isn't like a, you know, a 13 year old lady, like it, it's, it's got a lot more of universal appeal. It's just like more, more sophisticated is a, is, a, is, a, is a silly word, but it's just, I guess it's slightly more grown up and that's the kind of vibe they're going for. But I wonder how many other artists end up being pigeonholed into doing stuff. Like there's just, there's songs you hear on the radio where the lyrics is just like, not only could I have written that, my rabbit could have written that, a, a goldfish could have written this. Like I refuse to believe somebody took time to come up with that. I feel like somebody like, you know, somebody from the record label wrote it down on the back of a napkin as they were running, you know, to the meeting after waking up 10 hours late. Like some of the lyrics that you hear in songs are just so bad. And I feel like now that why don't we seemingly have control of their own music, their lyrics are just like, you know, a lot better. I don't know, I don't know if you guys are feeling me on that one. I'll stay out of your way, won't let you know, I need your love tonight. <laughs> oh god! Oh, Mr. Frog just got run over. Oh no, the humanity. That was literally like the Crazy Frog remix. Crazy Frog brackets the big rig drives over his back edition. I need your love tonight. Mr. Frog, no! This song is so pleasant. I would offer up my body to all of them if they played this to me. And now it's on video, it's official. Come and get it, boys! Nice little hint at the outro at their soothing melodies they're so well known for. Shit, yeah, that sounds sick. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like... <laughs> again, I, I, I always feel like it's not too much, but there's just a tiny element of them just being like, we're grown up now. Like, the next song is probably going to have Joan on the outro being like, fuck you, mum, I don't want to go to bed. You know, it's going to be... Oh, it's going to be tasty. I, I, I can just feel it now. Okay, well, that was... 
Wait, what was it again? I'll be okay. It was in my head and I was like, that can't be right. That's just something I repeat to myself every day to try and, you know, make it through. No, the song was actually called I'll Be Okay. And it was more than just okay. It was great. That was really, really good. Instrumental was lovely. Lyrics were actually pretty cool. I had some pretty choice lines in there. I think I put, you know, noticed a few of them. Other times I was talking about frogs for some reason. Sorry about that. But yeah, thank you very much for suggesting this one, guys. I really hope you enjoyed my reaction. Of course, please do subscribe so you can check out more of my content. Let me know which one off the album I should do next. There's got to be at least a few more to go. Uh, yeah. And also, if you're new around here, I have loads of Why Don't We reactions. I've got a whole playlist of it, too. I've got absolutely loads of them. You know, far more than, you know, is probably sensible or maybe even legal for somebody of my stature, whatever that means. So, yeah, do check them out. And obviously, like I said, keep your comments coming. Thank you so much for checking this out. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again. Maybe. It's up to you, I guess. But hopefully, I'll be here, just waiting, all alone. It's quite sad. And remember, if you like this reaction to I'll Be Okay, then click the subscribe button. You'll do as I say. Hopefully. A drink. A drink. Ah, fresh water from the pond.